In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to make something like this, okay, using uh, what's called a linear pattern, and how to use something like this to do a um, using the text tool, okay. So we'll have a bit of play and see if I can show you how to do these. So first of all, back to start a new one again. So let's go new part. Say okay. Into sketch and then sketch again. Always on the top plane. Uh, we're just going to do a simple uh, square on there. Again, always draw the shape, put the dimensions in. So I'm going to do mine 60 by 60. That should be big enough to get any battery in there, any wiring without having to worry about anything like that. Okay, 60 by 60, fully defined. That's happy. So I'm going to go exit sketch. Um, now, sketch one, I go to features and I want to make it into a cube. So, go extruded ball space and just change that to say 60. So, it's now 60 in every direction. Okay, so there you go, it's a solid lump. I'm now going to use the shell tool again just to shell it out. So, I select the top section, go to where it says shell up here, and I say 1.2. That's going to give me that nice thin walls. Okay, so there you go. So there's my, my starting point. Okay, I've got this uh, 60 cube uh, with 1.2 mil walls in there. Okay, now what do I want to do next? Okay, we're going to use the uh, linear sketch tool. Okay, so I'm going to select a, a surface. I'm going to say sketch and sketch again. And I'll bring that into line for us. So we're looking straight at it. I'm going to draw a shape. Now, um, if I go to here to polygons, okay, and this might be quite nice if you were actually doing, instead of doing a square, you can maybe do this as, a, as the base sort of shape. Uh, I can pick whatever set um, shape I like. So I'm just going to start drawing this corner up here. Uh, okay, and I can fiddle around with the numbers. So I can say, well, actually, I don't want to have a, um, what would that be, a, a, a nonagon. I want to have a, uh, what's that, hex, hept. <laughs> Uh, hexagon okay so there's a hexagon or even a pentagon why not do a little pentagon okay and you can kind of spin it around as well so you can kind of twirl it around a bit oh no anyway. and I can move it around a little bit there as well so I get it so I don't want it obviously too close to the edge uh, I'm just going to bring that back control Z so I'm kind of happy with that one Okay, so there's my, my shape. So I'm now going to go exit that sketch. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, actually, sorry, I, want, I actually need that sketch highlighted. Okay, so I'm going to go sketch two, back into the sketch, select a line. Okay, now I need to draw around the whole thing just to make sure it's all selected. And you'll see it will say blind, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, there's an arc there as well just to show how the. the the kind of angles work with each other. Okay, so up here you'll see there's a thing here called linear sketch pattern. So I'm going to select that and you'll see, oh look, it's drawn another one for me. Well, down here I've got various options. Okay, so I'm just going to click on here and just move that up the way. And you should see as I click it, it just keeps moving across. And obviously I don't want to go over the edge, so I'm going to bring it to there. I can um, Kind of adjust the spacing between as well. So if I select that bit there, I can adjust here. Um, I adjust that distance in between there. There you go. So I can adjust the distance. Now, uh, obviously, I don't quite like that. So I'm just going to bring that back. Control Z. Oh, hello. What have I done? There we go. Uh, just brought me all the way back. So back to my sketch one. Uh, into sketch. Make sure I select it all again. Let's try that. Okay, so I've selected that uh, linear sketch pattern. Okay, and I'm just going to move that. Oh, now this time, what's happened? So as I'm moving up, it's actually going in that direction. Okay, so it starts doing something weird. What I can do is if I just click on there, you'll see ah, it's going down the way. That's a bit more useful for me. Oh, this is direction two. That's why. So it, it's folded that bit up for me. Okay, so let's bring that across the way. This is my X. So bring it across, but not too far. One back. And then I'm going to go to the other axes. This is going to go down the way. And I can bring that all the way down the way. And again, not touching the edges. Okay, 
<coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm just going to fiddle around with these numbers a little bit. Let's see if I move that to six. Oh, no, too much. Uh, actually, I'm... yeah. Okay. I wonder if I can move. I'm just going to attempt to move the whole thing if it'll let me. Okay, well, you get you get the idea of what we're trying to do there. So you can play around with all these sorts of numbers in here. Um, and there's various, various options of what you can do. So I'm just going to say, okay, I'm happy with that. So now I go exit, select that. Okay, and now I'm just going to do a featured uh, extrude cut. Okay, and I'm just going to move out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that all the way through. Okay, obviously if I only wanted to be on one side in a different pattern, then I'd bring that right down to just about a 10. Uh, but I'm quite happy for that to mirror the other side. So I'm just going to say OK. And that's going to pop that all the way through both sides. OK, which is quite, quite a nice effect, I think. OK, now obviously I could do a, a different shape this side and pump that through that way, or I could do a different one on each side. What I was going to show you here is how to use the text uh, tool. So select there. Uh, in sketch, I'll bring it around nice and flat for us, and I'm going to go to this one here, which says text. Okay, now I'm just going to put one big letter in, so I'm just going to say, uh, let's do B for born. Okay, or right, actually, why don't we do BGS and see how that works? Okay, now it's coming up here and it's quite small. So I'm going to take off the use document font. I'm going to undo that, change the font here. And this will give me the size. Um, let's try making it 10 times bigger. So let's just make it 35. See what that looks like. Is that a bit too big? Oh, that's too big. Yeah. Okay. Back into the font again. Um, Let's bring that down to maybe 20 and see what that looks like. Yeah, that should fit. Okay. Now the key bit here, and this can be a little bit fiddly, is just to kind of get it onto your shape. I mean, you don't seem to be able to drag it. You just seem to have to kind of click and it kind of follows you around a little bit. So it's a little bit weird and wonderful. Uh, there you go. I think that's quite, that's okay. So when I'm happy with it, and I can, you can go in and change the font and all sorts of things. So if you think, well, actually that font looks a bit weird. Um, no, that looks very odd. Um, and there's a gazillion different fonts. Let's go, uh, go down there. Something just simple. And say, okay. Oh, I want to just move that across a little bit if it let me. Oh, 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 oh okay. I've managed to select the edge. Uh, oh, uh, so if you select the edge, that's not much good, is it? Uh, right, okay. I want to spin it around. I've got myself in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, right, let's clear selection. Ah, there we go. Okay, so if I make a mistake, I can go on here and just go right click clear selection. So we've changed the font, we're okay with that. Let's run away, let's say okay. All right, so again, I can just do another extrude. So click on there now and go exit. Features extrude and uh, do, 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 do. now let's have a look. Is that actually going through? Now that is actually coming out the way. So that would, if I wanted to actually make this 3D, so let's do this 3D. This might be interesting. Okay, this will actually stick out. So if you want some writing, that's going to stick out. Now 10 mil is a bit big. Let's try um, 3 mil. Okay, so there you go. I can actually have a uh, writing sticking out of my box. Okay, that's quite nice, isn't it? Something a bit different. I wasn't expecting that. Obviously, I used the um, when I went into the features, I did the extruded where I should have. Well, I was had in my mind was the extruded cut. Okay, but that might be quite good to actually have something sticking out of the way, and that means there's more of the light going out the side. So hopefully, give me more of the pattern that way and that way. Okay, again, hopefully that's been useful.